In this video, we solve problem number two from quiz number three from the spring 2021 semester in elementary differential equations at Tulsa Community College. Now there were multiple forms to this quiz, so not all students um, will receive this question um, uh, or have received this question um, on their quiz number three, um, but everyone had a problem of similar difficulty. The problem statement says, for the IVP given below, use Euler's method with the given step size to find the approximate values of the function. We have dy dx equals negative x over y, and in initial condition, y of 0 equals 4. And we know that delta x and h are both 0 0.1. Um, that's delta x and h. Those are just your step size, and either one of those could be used for your step size. And we're asked to approximate y of 0 0.1 and 0 0.2 and 0 0.3. And it's actually not too bad um, since we're taking a step size of 0 0.1 and our initial x value, which we typically denote by x naught is zero. And our initial y value, which is denoted by four, um, y naught is four. Um, when we take steps of size 0 0.1, we pretty much immediately end up at uh, this location. We will go from x equals zero And then we'll take a tiny step uh, delta x in the x direction from 0 to 0 0.1. And then we'll add 0 0.1 again, another step in the x direction to get to 0 0.2. And then we'll add 0 0.1 again to go to a third uh, step in the x direction, um, and we'll get to 0 0.3. So basically what we want is we want to approximate the y values on the solution curve of this um, initial value problem using Euler's method. Now Euler's method um, basically uses the tangent line at each point to find a new y value that um, should be close to the true y value on the solution curve. Um, so, so here's the idea. We're told that when x equals 0, y equals 4. So we know that this point, x equals 0, y equals 4, is on the solution curve. And we also know that dy dx is equal to this. But dy dx, remember, that gives us the slope. So this right-hand side, once dy dx is by itself, we typically denote that by f of x and y. It's telling us the slope of the solution curve at any location x, y that is on the solution curve. And we know that x naught, y naught equals 0, 4 is on the solution curve. So we've got a point, we've got a slope. With the point and the slope, we can come up with the tangent line there. And then we can say, OK, if this function is differentiable and the slope is relatively small, and the tangent line is a good approximation to the solution. So if I find a point, a nearby point on the tangent line at, say, x equals 0 0.1, that is likely to be on the solution curve or very close to the solution curve. So that's going to be a good approximation of the y value at 0 0.1. Um, so that's how this works. Um, let's set up the equation. We're saying that the y value at a, the new location minus the y value at the last location is equal to the slope times the difference between the x value at the new location and the x value at the last location. Well, this is just a change in x. This is delta x in our case. And delta x, or if you prefer, you can call it h. And delta x in our case is 0 0.1. They told us that. So we're starting at x not equals 0. We take a step of 0 0.1 to this location. And then we do that again. And then we do that again. There we go. OK, so you did this three times. And that's what you get. Now, the slope, again, is the right-hand side of this differential equation. But we want the slope at the last point. So if we are thinking of n plus 1, um, that subscript as denoting the x and y pair, or x, y pair at the next location. This is the slope at the last location. The last location on our solution curve is x sub n, y sub n. So we can uh, add the y sub n to both sides. The slope is given by the right-hand side of the differential equation. We want that at the last location. And then we're multiplying by delta x, or if you want, you can call it h. So this is our equation. It says take the y value, the last location, find the slope at that location, add that 
This is the slope, the change in y over change in x, multiply by the change in x. And so you get the y value plus a change in y should give you the new y value. Um, that's all we're going to do. Um, and again, it's just a tangent line. It's, it's sort of a fancy way of, of coming up with the tangent line. So let's see, when n is equal to 0, this equation becomes y sub 1 equals y sub 0 plus the slope at x naught y naught times delta x. Now y sub 0 is 4, because that was given to us up there. The xy pair where we're starting is x equals 0, y equals 4. And we're taking that value and we're multiplying it by delta x, which is 0 0.1. Now the function on the right-hand side happens to be negative x over y. So this is sim very simple. So we've got a negative x over y. So negative 0, opposite of 0 is, of course, 0, divided by 4 times 0 0.1. This is 0 times 0 0.1, so it's a, it's a line with a slope of 0. It's just a horizontal line. So if the last y value was 4 and it's a horizontal line, the new y value is going to be 4. Or in other words, our tangent line right here is going to look like this. And we're going to say if that is approximately, or if that is very close to the solution curve, then this point, um, x1, y1, where x is equal to 0 0.1, y1, is equal to 4 must be on the solution curve. So y1 is equal to 4, and that's approximately y at x1, which is defined to be y at 0 0.1. Um, so this is our approximation for y of 0 0.1. That was the first thing that we were asked to find. Okay, let's do it again. Then equals 1, plug in n equals 1 here. We'll have y sub 2 equals y sub 1 plus the slope at the last xy pair times delta x y sub 1 is 4, x sub 1 is 0 0.1. We're taking that value and we're multiplying it by 0 0.1. So we have 4 plus negative x over y times 0 0.1. And that ends up being this. 4 minus 0 0.01 divided by 4. So you get that, which is uh, 3.9975. And that's approximately equal to y at x2. So that is uh, y at 0 0.2, and that was one of the values that we wanted to approximate. So let's think about this last one a little bit more. This is telling me that the slope of my solution curve, if this point um, x equals 0 0.1, y equals 4 is on that solution curve. The slope is negative 0 0.1 divided by 4. So the slope is negative 0 0.025. It's a tiny, tiny uh, negative slope. So this is not to scale, but we've got a little a tangent line right there that has a negative slope. It's tangent at the point x1, y1. So we're going to take a step in this direction. And then at x equals uh, 0 0.2, we're going to say that the y value is approximately equal to the slope here. Or not the slope here, the y value on that tangent line. So we, we're getting this. OK. And then when n is equal to 2, this is what we get. We have y sub 3 equals the last y value plus the slope at the last, x, the last xy pair times delta x. So the last y value is 3.9975. The slope is at the last xy pair is x equals 0 0.2, y equals 3.9975. We'll plug those into our right-hand side of the differential equation. That's going to give us a slope. It's going to give us a number. And take that and multiply by 0 0.01. So you have negative um, x over y times 0 0.1. I think I said 0 0.01. I meant to say 0 0.1. So we have 3.9975 minus 0 0.2. Let's do it this way. 
0 0.2 times 0 0.1, uh, close parentheses, divided by uh, 3.9975. And that's giving me approximately this number, 3.9925, just approximately. And that's just rounding out to four decimal places. And that is approximately equal to y at x3, and x3 is 0 0.0, or excuse me, 0 0.3. Again, we had a, a, a tangent line, and the tangent line had a slope of negative 0 0.2 divided by 3.9975. So that is our slope, approximately negative 0 0.5. And we use that tangent line and we say, you've got the tangent line at x2, y2 over here. That's going to allow us to define x3, y3. And so these points, this point, this point, this point, and this point are likely to be on the solution curve. Okay, so that is how we solve problem number two from quiz number three um, for the students who took this version of it.